Hi friends and welcome. I'm really excited because I put up that little video, a teaser, uh, this afternoon. And if you didn't see it, now you're seeing us together. Chris is here. And I didn't tell anybody about what Chris is going to be talking about, so we're going to soon find out. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! But um, it, it, what Chris is going to be adding to the channel is a new category of videos. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'm going to let... I'm just gonna let Chris explain um, this new category of videos and what he's going to be offering. So the new category of videos that uh, God put upon my heart, it's called Come Up Higher. Okay, I like, I like that. Because Jesus is calling each one of us not to stay where we're at, not to be um, idle where we're at or mm -hmm. even content, spiritually speaking. Mm -hmm with where we're at, but to come up higher. He's closer to him, where he's at. Yeah. So let's look briefly at Revelation 4.1. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Revelation 4.1. I'll wait for you to get there. Okay, I am, I'm there. Okay. It says, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, mm. and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Mm. Mm. So, it's not so much about the verse specifically that we're going to dive into, dig into, but okay. it's more of the, the phrase. So, Stacy, imagine this. Okay. Well, you like to um, you like to climb, right? Or hike? Yeah, I love to hike. Yeah, yep. quite the hiker. Yes. Yeah, extraordinary. Well... So, <laughs> I like to hike. Well, imagine you're on a hike okay. and you're, you're going up a mountain. It's a big, quite a big mountain. Okay. And uh, you get to a spot where you're just, you're up high, you're seeing the skies are clear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you see for miles and miles, but there are some clouds, let's say, but they're, they're above you. So you're not going to go, you, you don't plan to summit yeah. okay. because... You see, you see no point. You see no, you don't see the payoff. Yeah, yeah. It's um, for one thing. It's the higher you go up, the colder it gets, right? That's true. Yeah. The higher you colder. go up, the less oxygen there is. That's true too. And in this uh, exact scenario, the higher you go up, the less um, clear the skies are. Yeah, probably no view up there. Your clouds, your 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 view is obscured by the clouds. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm, so you're I'm there. visualizing this. Yeah. You're there, and you you're loving the spot you're in. Yeah. And out of nowhere, from above you, yeah, comes a voice that says, "Stacy, come up higher." Hmm. Hmm. It's a still small voice. Yeah. It's it's the voice of the Lord, and you say, "Lord." Why? <laughs> yeah. Why would I want to do that? What What's Why? the payoff, Lord? Yeah. What's What What's that going to do for me? Yeah. How's that? Doesn't make any sense. He says, "Come up higher, Stacy. Mm. Trust me. Mm. Trust me." And it's a gentle voice. Mm. You know, it's a trusting voice. Mm. It's a trustworthy voice. Yeah. And this still small voice is persistent, and you feel like ah. I need to listen to this voice, because if I don't, I don't know what I'm going to be missing out on. Yeah. yeah. So, you trust the Lord. You trust the still small voice, and you go up. Mm. You go up higher. Mm. You go up into the clouds, where it's cold, and you you don't feel like you have the proper gear, or the equipment to breathe oxygen, yeah. or the ability to see in the clouds. Mm. But what you don't know is the Lord is providing mm. for your needs. Mm. He'll provide your warmth. He'll provide the oxygen to breathe. And he'll even solve the visibility issue. Don't give me eyes to see. So then what is the motivation for um, going higher, answering Jesus' call? Uh, is it... Um, is it avoiding wrath? Is that a good motivation? Probably. 
probably not. But is it even um, eternal life? To receive eternal life, is that the right motivation? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Those are things that we ponder. Yeah. So, um, let me just say that the, those motivations are, are wrong. Because those motivations won't see us through to the end. They won't endure trial and deprivation and mm. even starvation mm. or, or um, anything else that, that might come our way that is extreme. Mm. So, um, yeah, Jesus is calling us. We need a right motivation, and only He can give us the right motivation. Mm. That's true. And if you think about M Moses in Exodus, in the book of Exodus, was he not willing to mm. have his own name blotted mm. out of the book of life. I remember reading that and I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do that. And we think about the pearl of great price in, I believe, Matthew 13, yeah. where the merchant man finds that pearl. Yeah. And what's he do? Yeah, he sells everything. 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 Everything that he has, he's staking his whole yeah. future on that one purchase. Yeah. Wow. That one purchase. What about um, Revelation 7.15? Let's flip there real quick. We'll try to keep these videos brief. Uh, some people <laughs> have been asking for longer ones, so... We'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so Revelation... 7.15. Okay, 7.15, and I'm there. Okay, would you read that? Mm -hmm. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. All right. <laughs> I remember reading that. Yeah, okay. So when you first read that, Stacy, yeah. how do you feel about that? Being one of those, um, you know, entitled people. How did you feel? Uh, that, was, that was like, I thought, how am I going to serve the Lord day and night? <laughs> There's no way. In the temple. Yeah, there's just I did I wasn't interested in that. Yeah. I'll just be honest. I wasn't I yeah. like I don't I'm gonna be honest, that. when I read that, I, I remember even telling somebody, it's like I just can't fathom like yeah. serving the Lord day and night in the temple. All right. First off I wanna say it. It doesn't mean there's no <laughs> breaks. <laughs> yeah. Vacation yeah. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna get into yeah. exactly what that means. Yeah. But um but how how has things changed since you first read that? Oh wow, I want to serve him day and night, yeah. and my whole focus has been transformational. Um, yeah, I can't get enough of Jesus. I just I I want more. Yeah, I want more. I never thought I'd get to this point either, ever. Right. Like I really didn't. Yeah. So the I mean, it's, I could say the same thing. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, maybe not to the extent that Stacy's where Stacy's at, but <laughs> but yes, we're all from yeah. where I was in the beginning when I first read is like yeah, serving him day and night. I'm yeah. like, that's that's like wow, it's changing that's, now. But now I'm like, yeah, I could I could I could imagine serving yeah. him day and night and yeah. my needs met. Um, yes, you yeah. know, fulfilling work. Yes, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, he's providing the oxygen, the com the the warmth, everything. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. what is what would be the right motivation? Would you say then? Well, mm. for me, it's definitely because I, I, I love Jesus. Yeah, so it's Jesus. love. Yeah. And that love, or are you the source of that love? Did you? I don't know how to find love. that love. <laughs> yeah, I don't, no, I'm not the source of anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no, no, nope. Yeah. <laughs> So that source of love that has transformed us into being able to serve, being willing to serve the Lord day and night, yeah. that comes from the Lord himself. Yeah, yeah, and, it does, uh, it does. So Jesus yeah. is calling. He's saying, come up higher. Mm -hmm. And the, there's a problem, though. If we do go up higher, yeah. does that not create a distance between us and those that we love, friends, family, oh, whoever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there yeah. can be a distance. Uh, there could be tension created oh, yeah. from answering Jesus' call. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a lot of tension. 
can make our relationships worse. Let's look at better. Let's flip to Matthew 19. Uh -uh. And there's a promise that we want to take hold of. And I'm not there yet. I'm getting there almost. Okay. And I believe we want to read verse 29. Is that right? Okay, Matthew 19. Oh, yeah. All right, would you read that? Yeah, for this us? is a good one. Listen to this Matthew 6, what is it, 19, 29. 19 and 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my, my name's sake, sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit lasting life. Okay, wow. so again, the motivation isn't so much like, oh, I'm going to inherit all yeah. these hundredfold. Yeah. The motivation is love, but he's promising that if you do, um, yeah. not abandon, abandon them, but if you follow me. Yes. I'll, I'll take care of your needs. Yeah. Plus, let's let's look at something else. If you don't answer the call to Jesus, you might not create that tension in your, let's say, your marriage or your family, whatever it may be. Yeah. You might you'll you'll avoid that tension created. But yeah. in that condition, without following Jesus, are you able to help mm -hmm. others get closer to Jesus? No. So when we answer the call to, from Jesus saying, come up higher, we're reaching up to Jesus, but we're also reaching down wow. to, to those. Because wow. wow. we don't, uh, that's when you know that you're uh, coming closer to Jesus because yeah. you're not um, like, oh, disregarding right. those that you're are. You're not gonna, leaving your loved ones. Yeah, you, you're your desire them. grows stronger that yeah. you want them to come, come with, with, with you. you. And unlike the world, you know, the world wants to have an edge over yes. over others. But yeah. in God's kingdom, um, and and as a true leader, we, we want others to, yeah. if they go higher, yeah. that's, that's great. And the thing I love about that is, <clears throat> and I know many of you out there, you have spouses, and you've got children, sisters, and brothers, and you are, you have this faith, you have this love for Jesus, and... Some of you are afraid to step out even more boldly in that faith and go higher because you think it's going to fracture that relationship. And when Chris was talking about this, he said, this gives you an opportunity to, to, it gives them an opportunity. It brings, it shows them what Christ can do. Yeah. I mean, it's just so powerful. You become that witness, but you have to step up. You have to step up. Yeah, you got to come up. Yeah. Yeah. And your reward is great in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I guess in closing, um, I just want to add by beholding, we become changed. And that comes out of 2 Corinthians 3.18. Yeah. So it's it's what we spend our time focusing on. If yeah. we spend our time focusing on things of the world, yeah. we'll become just like the world. Mm -hmm. If we spend our time and efforts Focusing on Christ, mm -hmm. the, the perfect um, example of what humanity can be, yeah. then our our thoughts will be transformed. We'll become yeah. more like Him yes. in character. Oh, yes. Because He came to restore the image of God. That's, if you want to sum up the reason for yeah. Jesus coming, you can say it in many ways, but... The reason he came down is to restore the image of God in humanity. There's the answer. To uplift humanity. Right there. I asked that today. What is the reason why Jesus came? And it wasn't about just saving us from our sins. He's trying to restore us to yeah. his image. Yeah. Just like how we were in the Garden of Eden before the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There you go. So, stuff. friends, um, as Jesus is calling each one of us, come up higher. And it is the the upward calling that um, this there are all our efforts, Stacy's efforts in her channel. Uh, it's all about yeah, bringing people getting together closer and, to Christ. Yeah, Amen, Amen.
So thank you, friends. Thank you, Chris. That was awesome. Absolutely. Thank yeah. You for having me. Yeah. And uh, be watching more. We appreciate comments, feedback. And uh, again, we don't have a, like a set schedule right now, but Chris will be coming back uh, with more Upward Calling videos. And if you really enjoyed the message, please share. Yeah, please um, share. She's, Stacy's not so much about new subscribers as she is about just people hearing yeah. this, this message yeah. um, and uplifting message. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wherever we go, we can, we can encourage, give an encouraging word. Encouraging smile, yes. even if it's for a brief moment. Yeah. So, all right. God bless. All right. Take care. See you next time. All right. God bless you.